Alright, welcome back to an architecture tour of Half-Life 2. I'm Simon, and uh, we're about to get into a loading screen. Anyway, I was going to say we're about to get into the main part of the game. And we see the Citadel again. Hey, Gordon! Hi. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. So, this is not accidental, of course. You know, you come through here, and you see the Citadel again, and you get shown you know, you saw, you just saw how it opened up and all these things are flying out and so you know, like they say, you really stood the hive things are gonna get serious pretty soon so you know again, storytelling through architecture showing you things happening in the world and the view is all constrained, right, so you don't have anywhere else to look except for the citadel so it's, it makes sure that you see what you need to see and we're moving through here I think that's supposed to be part of the train station we came in on you can see it's the same architecture although when we get down there I'll show you it's not actually quite it's not quite the same train tracks train tracks are often you know in the in the back sides of, of buildings and cities because unlike roads you don't in the road you get off a car and you need to get to a building whereas in trains you only get off on train stations and so a lot of train tracks tend to be you know in, in the back of buildings and <laughs> let's just walk the wrong way for a moment and look at the train station so it's the same architecture but as you can see, it's not the same because you know, the screen's gone and the building's on the other side. So I guess the train station was bigger. You know, it is meant to be bigger than, than what it was at the beginning of the game. But it doesn't change the fact that it's still very short. Like the platforms are really short. Carriages. You know, it's a short train. Let's follow it for a bit. If you remember, the train station was only long enough for three carriages. And this one has four. And so... It shouldn't fit. Unless this station is longer. No, it doesn't fit. <laughs> It's right up to the end and the whole tra train doesn't even fit in the station. Yeah, the, the station is way too short. You know, keep moving and not try to get shot too much. Lamp. Unusual for a lamp to not be packaged up. And uh, let's keep moving. So yeah, now we get to the real part of the game, right? We get shot at a lot. And... Soon we get our first gun. The crowbar is a weapon, although we haven't gotten the chance to hit anyone yet. Health. Help me! Ooh. So now we're into corridors and rooms. This random corridor. Why is this corridor here? I and mean, where does it go? Who knows? But we got these guys oh, in the face. They'll be looking for you now. 
You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. All right. So, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, these guys are humans too. But um, you end up killing a lot of people Boy. in this game. I mean, you know, in the past few videos, we spent a lot of time being told that those are the bad guys and those are the good guys. But if you think about it, you know, there's still people. Anyway, you're not supposed to think about that. You're supposed to just shoot them in the head. Where does that door go? You know, I'm not entirely sure what this area is and why it's here. I guess those are apartments. But what's this place? Apparently there's a door here. So you can get out here from the apartment. Anyway. I'll be honest, I've never been to the back of buildings very much. So, uh... Not entirely sure. See how long this train is. I mean, this I mean, how's this train ever going to fit into that train station? It's not. Like, this is how long trains are supposed to be. Okay, I should stop wasting ammunition here. Finish him off. There's a house? There's a house here? I mean, I can, ma I can imagine it would be a terrible house because you get trains going past all the time. A house? grass and a tree. It seems really out of place, doesn't it? Like, that's an industrial thing. I think. Those are apartments. That's a warehouse, possibly? And there's like this little house here. It's so strange. to kill all of them. But we can. Let's see. So why is this duct here? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm thinking way too much. But if you you know think about what's going on as you play, you realize there's a lot of strange things going on. Like ducts usually you know they're there for ventilation. But that duck didn't lead anywhere. That's the strangest thing I've ever seen. Train. So if you think too much about things then, they start to not make sense. That's a combine train. And this doesn't make sense, having big windows next to a railroad. Like windows, they're for looking out, but there's nothing to look out into. There's nothing to see here. Why would they... Who would waste money on big pieces of glass when there's nothing to see it's 
so this is sort of corridors and rooms. It doesn't make too much sense. Where are we getting shot from? To there? So stairs and then a bridge and then this Yeah, this this place makes very little sense. Whoa, I mean it looks cool, 